In this first one, we have to move two matches to make the shape of glasses, as in what we wear for reading. Which two matches can we move? Let's have a look. First move. And second. And there are our eyes as well. Let's go on to the next one. Here we have eight matches. It looks like four letter V's, doesn't it? We need to move three of them to make a three letter word that means the same as victory, as in beating someone. What would be your first move? Let's have a look. First one. Second match. And the third one to make the letter N. So what do we have? W-I-N to win. That certainly means a victory, doesn't it? Three matches to obtain that word. Let's go on to the third one. We have a fish shape looking to the left. We want to move two matches so that the fish will end up pointing to the right. Can you see which two matches we need to move? Let's have a look. First match. And there's the second. Two moves for that. Let's move on. An arrow pointing to the right. Which three matches would you move so that the shape you end up with looks like the, a side-on view of a chair? Side-on view of a chair by moving three matches. Let's see how it's done. First match, straight down. Second match, looks like part of a leg, doesn't it? And there's the third one. To complete our sketch of a chair, side on. How are you going so far with these? Let's try the next one. This is a bit trickier. We are required to move six matches so that the shape ends up looking like a house. Let's see what the solution is. First match. Second match. Next one. There's our next match moving. Second last. And our last match falls into place. And there's our nice little house by moving six matches. Let's try the next one. This is an equation, isn't it? Well, not really true. It says 5 plus 1 equals 7, which is false. Can we move just two matches so that it becomes true? Two matches to make a true equation. Let's see. And there we have it. 8 minus 1 equals 7. That's certainly true by moving two matches. Another one. This shape looks a bit like a house. We want to move four of those matches to make it look like a box shape. Four matches to make it look like a three-dimensional box shape. Which four? First, second, third match and lucky last there we have it there's our box shape isn't it three dimensional representation okay let's go on to the next one for this shape we need to move three of those matches so that the shape that we end up with looks like it's made up of two rectangles of equal size three matches to end up with two equal sized rectangles. Let's see what the solution is. There's the first match, straight down. Second one, splitting the whole thing down the middle and there's the third one falling into its place. And there we have it, two 
rectangles of equal size. Right, let's move on. Another equation, again not true, 13 minus 8 equals 0. Again, just by moving two matches, can we make that true? Two matches, which ones? Let's see. First one. And second one. And there we have it. 8 minus 8 equals 0. That's a true equation. One more. Here it is. Pyramid shape made up of small triangles. Which three matches would you move so that you end up obtaining one large triangle and one smaller one? Which three matches? There's the first, second, and third. So we have a large triangle on the left and a smaller one attached to it on the right. I hope you've enjoyed these puzzles and keep an eye out for some more that I will bring out in the near future. Until then, bye bye.